Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for January 11th to the 25th. The polar vortex strengthens during this period and remains here uh, far from uh, work having influence on our weather. And with the, um, let me see, got to get another map up here. Hold on a second. Just bear with me. And the MJO remains in the Western Pacific. And this has been the dominant forces of this winter so far. There is support for colder air to spread across the plains and parts of the Northeast later in January, I think after the 25th and linger into the eastern U.S. into the first part of February. However, the cold is not, ex uh, however, the cold surge into the Ohio, Tennessee Valley, Middle Atlanta will not be strong. And the PNA remains in a negative side of MGL will to weaken and reforms over eastern India, Indian Ocean and does not make it across the Pacific, the cold air will hold in the Rockies on Northern Plains or will not be able to make it to the East. Okay, um, here's a period for January 11th to the 15th. Let me go to the maps. And the flow remains generally the same. We have a strong ridge here near the Aleutians, Northeast Pacific, trough here in the West. And we have a ridge here off the southeast coast with above normal heights in the east. They're very high here across parts of the Middle Atlantic and the northeast. So during this forecast period, we will have a system moving right here. Oops, let me go back a little bit. Uh, in the Tennessee Valley, that would be causing rain, possible storms here across um, the lower Mississippi Valley. And the Tennessee Valley and we'll have snow maybe some ice on the northern and western side rain spreading to the north and then we're looking at the GFS which seems to be in pretty pretty good agreement with the uh, with the GFS and then we'll go to Sunday now this rain moves into the east or this is late Saturday and then we go to Sunday now it's, it's it's moving into portion of the east with again the low is to the north now if this mgo changes the storm path will storm pattern will change also with that and maybe we can get some storms going here in the east on the colder side um and then by um by monday it's out of here now also um The Northwest, as you can see here, will have um, periods of rain and snow, mountain snow, you can see in the West. That's one system. Here comes the next system coming in. And this will gradually spread into the Northern and Central Rockies. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for January 16th to the 20th. And the pattern remains the same. Again, as we go through this forecast period, here we are at the um, at the 20th. Still have a strong ridge here, trough ridge configuration off the southeast coast, actually over Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for this region here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of 6 to 18 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures are forecast here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of 8 degrees or more would be possible, and the highest anomalies would be across the southeast. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and east of the Mississippi River, and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. Looking for later in the period, I think 
this might be the end of the warm spell, but we'll soon see. Uh, we'll go to the end of the period this for the 21st to the 25th. And overall, the um, the height anomalies or the height, the, the circulation fe features will remain the same, but however, they'll be weaker compared to what they were back here. So overall, still expecting a um, little overall change in temperature anomalies, but the anomalies, I mean, the little change in the temperature areas of below and above normal, but the anomalies might be not as high. We're expecting below normal temperatures here with the anomalies of six to eight degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here, with the anomalies of 46 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here, and for this region, and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. Oh, and just a note, looking at the other models, I noticed that the European ensembles are forecasting below t normal temperatures for much of the nation during this period of January 21st to 25th. We'll see how that comes through. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for January 11th to the 25th. Thanks for coming to Jim Lee's World of Weather and have a good day.